Well, I had to ask 14 people, but at least I know now that I have to go to Old Aspia. This must be the right platform. Hi, I'm Robert. Your seat looks really comfortable. Oh, hello, Robert. I'm Mr. Sun. You smell good. Your scent reminds me of my dog, Charleston. It's like a mix of, of forest and fear. Mmm, that reminds me of my home. Come a bit closer, let me smell you. I, um, don't know if that's such a good idea. Oh, come now, Robert. Just a little sniff. A little piece of home for good old Misterson. What are you doing here, anyway? What I... I repaired the cable car to Woolington. Oh. Damn. Now I have to travel again. I hate my job. I just want to go home. You must have seen so much of the world. That may be, but my home is the most beautiful place of all. That is, if I recall correctly, I haven't been there for quite some time. I can only vaguely remember how it smelled. Like the lemon trees in my wife's herb garden. My children, children always smell like candy. My son used to love caramel sugar sticks. And then there's the smell of my dreams. What is your dream? I always wanted to be a, a lumberjack. That sweet wood smell. That sounds great. Let's not talk about it anymore. It makes me too sad. But if you want to quit, then you should just do it. I mean, isn't there anything else you'd rather do? Oh, yes, I'd love to become a burly lumberjack, just like my father was. Why don't you just do that? I'm lacking the motivation. I don't even know anymore what I'm missing in life. So that's Harold? Yes, well, that's what I named him. He, he's not mine. I'm supposed to bring him from Rootburg to Wellington. But the cable car to Wellington has been broken for the past three years. He's pretty quiet, hmm? I'm sure he'd love to sing, but being in captivity makes him sad. I can sense it because I feel the same way. Can I please smell you again? Take care. Smell you later. Hey, hands off. First, I need a ticket. Um, hello? <gasps> I would, um, like a ticket to old Aspia, please. Eroku, pistachio. 404. It seems to be broken. Damn. Doesn't anything work around here? Robert? At least I'm hearing Laura's voice now instead of Conroy's. Robert! Flute nose! Laura? Laura, is that you? Oh, no. Not her. Who the hell else would it be, you dork? Oh, it is you. Flute Nose, I've missed you so much. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, never mind. That can't be her. Of course it's me. Laura, where are you? I traveled in some luggage and now I'm stuck in the stock room. Oh, Laura, I missed you so much. I've missed you too, Flute Nose. I really hoped I'd find you here. How did you know where I was? I met Labretta when they locked me up. Is she okay? Yeah, for now. We have to hurry and stop Emil before he throws all the flute noses into the wind fountain. So, what's your plan? We have to get to old Aspia. I'll explain the rest to you then. I'm trying to get a ticket now, but the machine is broken. I bet I can repair it from back here. Great. 
But how are you going to get out and come with me? I'm not leaving without you. Let me worry about that. We'll meet up in old Aspia. Then you can tell me your plan. And then we'll save the world. Just like old times. Yeah. Then I can finally hold you. All right. And I'm going to give you a big fat kiss. I've got to get that cable car ticket. Robert? He can't hear me. I can't fit through there. It feels pretty warm. Petting them isn't such a good idea. Send that. The tumble mouse could fit through there. I don't want to send that through the ventilation system. still there. I'm going to try to board the cable car. And I'll try to disguise myself as luggage. Okay, I'll see you in old Aspia. Yep. I'd rather not touch that. I just come from there. Far too hot to touch. Oh, this is pretty confusing. The removal of signs and posters is forbidden in Asposia. I'm sure. Removal of sign. Hello. Security check. Show me your nose, please. Oh, I didn't want to board. I just, um, wanted to look. Oh, uh, okay. Well, have fun with that. I'd like to go to Old Aspia. All right. If you could just show me your nose, please. Um, I, I mean, let's just say that I'd like to go to old Aspia. Like, hypothetically? You don't have to insult me. But if you want to go to old Aspia, then the first thing you'll need is a ticket. And there has to be enough room for you in the cable car. And, of course, you'd have to check your feathered friend there as cargo in a standardized transport cage. So, there's a nose check. Well, <laughs> not for everyone. Who's not everyone? The Con Royalists are allowed to come right through. I, I mean, if you can't trust them, then who can you trust? And everyone else has to be checked. Yeah, I mean, we're all the equal here. But they're... Mm, equaler. Where can I get a ticket? 
from the ticket machine. But it's broken. Uh, other than that, you can buy one at the counter. But it's only open every second Thursday of the month that starts with M. And then only for about five minutes. And it's not at this station, but on the other side of Esposia in a creepy cave in the woods that you can't get to by foot. Okay, thanks. Is there still a seat available in the car? Nope. There's just as many seats as there are passengers. I'm pretty sure that means there's no room left. Can my pigeon just sit on my lap? Then anyone could just sit on anyone's lap. You'll have to put your pigeon in a standardized transport cage if you want to take it with you. What do I need to do in order to go to Old Aspia again? You need a ticket, a seat in the cable car, and to check your bird there as cargo. Okay then, thanks. Always at your service. Stop! Nose control! Uh-oh. Okay then, thanks. Always at your service. What would I need that for? Too far away. must travel in standard. <laughs> Don't do that. Laura would kill me if anything happened to you. Hey, back off. Hello, I'm Robert. Bogo. What's a Bogo? Bogo is a whistle hunter. He hunts pipe blowers and collects their ugly flute-like noses. Bravo. Why are you hunting flute noses? Bogo doesn't have a problem with flute nose. Bogo has a problem with those dirty scumbags who killed the abbot, his eminence, Conroy. These muckbloods with their whistling noses. It's unnatural. Bogo hates whistling. Why do you hate whistling? Bogo used to have chronic tinnitus. Oh. Yeah, when Bogo hears whistling now, he flips out. Bogo can't think about anything else. He's very focused then, like a, 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 very focused. Whenever you hear whistling? Yeah, keep away from me with anything that whistles. Am I interrupting your lunch break? Yeah, obviously. What are you eating there? A good old root burger. The food that made Esposia great. Mmm, may I have a bite? No, this is Bogo's Burger, and only Bogo's Burger. Bogo doesn't share. Rude guy, this Bogo. The Root Burger looks delicious. Yeah, but it's not. Bogo needs ketchup, but Bogo doesn't have any ketchup. Maybe you just need to repair it. The burger? The ketchup dispenser. Conroy never believed in dispensers. I didn't know you could make a career in flute nose hunting. Why didn't I think of that? It's a lot more than that. It's a calling. Bogo's goal is to eliminate all pipe blowers. How long have you been a flute nose hunter? Bogo's whole life in his heart, but officially Bogo wasn't a flute-nose hunter until three years ago. 
But Bogle was one of the first to join the Conroyalists. Now Bogle leads the official badass division. So, what were you before? A librarian. And what does it take to become a flute nose hunter? You need good instincts. Bogo can smell flute noses <laughs> up to a thousand miles away. So, if a flute nose were to be standing directly in front of you, talking to you, then that pipe blower would be pinned to the ground in seconds. <laughs> Bogo would notice. Bogo is no idiot. Yeah. Have you ever caught a flute nose? Yeah, sure. Well, not exactly, but I've seen one before. In a book, with pictures, and in photos, and also on a wanna poster. The ones hanging up everywhere? Yep. Have you ever seen one? Seen one? I am one. <laughs> <laughs> But how can you be sure that the flute noses all enrage the gods with their songs? Couldn't that all just be rumors? I mean, there hasn't been any proof from a verified source that those occurrences ever really took place. Bogo's mind is made up. Don't try to confuse Bogo with facts. So you really just hate them because their whistling distracts you, right? Bogo thinks that's enough reason to hate someone. Take care, Bogo. Yeah, yeah. Beat it, kid. Hi, Mr. Sin. Ah, yes. I thought I smelled you. Come a bit closer, Robert. That's the type of guy I always warned you about, Robert. No, thanks. I think I'll just stand here. So I take it you still need that transport cage? The standardized transport cage, TWD-1? Yes, unfortunately. Oh, okay. I need one too. You know what? When I quit my job, it's yours. Then, this bird will be free, and I'll be free, and you'll have a cage. That would be amazing. Yes. Yeah. But it's only wishful thinking. It must be really hard not being able to go home. Yes, that is. I... <laughs> I bet that my wife has found somebody else. <laughs> but I love her so much. Oh, don't think like that. I'm sure your wife misses you terribly. And... and... my children... My children, they probably wouldn't even recognize their father anymore. Oh no, I'm so sorry, I, I really didn't want to make you cry. Is there anything I can do for you? Can I sniff you? No. Where is your home? Home is where the heart is. And my heart is in Lower Fitzburg. My wife and my children and my dream of becoming a sexy lumberjack. But I don't want to talk about it. Your bird doesn't look too happy. Yes, he's a very complicated soul. Very sensitive. And it doesn't help that he's all caged up. I'm supposed to deliver him to some rich wool tycoon in Wellington. Then he'll probably be put into some other cage and I'll be given something else to deliver. Always the same and always without pause. I'm sorry that you miss your family. Yes. It gets even worse whenever I smell something that reminds me of them. My wife's lemon tree, her herb garden, my son's caramel sugar sticks, the sweet smell of wood. Goodbye. 
Can I have a little goodbye, Snip? I don't think so. Definitely not. That could be useful. Is that a flute? No, only a needle that I carry around with me in the open. Mmm, that smells like lemon. There's lots of water dripping from it. Lemon smelling water. Whistling that drives Bogo crazy. He's totally fixated on the whistling. Wearing sunglasses inside doesn't make him blind, you know. saw no flute nose. It was only a tea kettle. Bogo has everything under control. This reminds Bogo of the blood of his enemies. He should go wash it off. <laughs> 